Hey ghouls and gals, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and today's video is going to be my March TBR. I am going to try and keep this TBR as short as possible because I thrive on mood reading, but there is one readathon I do want to participate in very loosely throughout the month of March, and that is going to be Elliot Brooks's Animal Companions and Magical Creatures readathon. So there are different bingo boards for that. So I'll be trying to fill out some squares in that bingo board throughout the month of March. So I will leave her announcement video linked down below, but basically it is in the name of this readathon. It's reading fantasy books that have a magical creature, animal companion, any sort of like animal in the story. There are a ton of different prompts to fill out. You can double up on challenges and I am planning on reading primarily fantasy this month so a lot of my reads should hopefully fit in these challenges. The first book that I'd like to read is actually a graphic novel bind up. It is volumes one and two of Isola by Brendan Fletcher and Carl Kirschel. And this is a graphic novel that I don't really know too too much about other than the fact that it is a fantasy graphic novel. I love using graphic novels for readathons. I think they're the perfect length for readathons. All I really know about this one is that it is following a warrior and her animal companion who is a magical tiger who is actually the queen of Mar, which I'm guessing is the fantasy world that we're in and the captain of the guard has to try and figure out why she got turned into a tiger and reverse the spell for her. I'm very excited to dive into this. The art looks really cool. What I know of the story sounds fun and this could I believe work for several different challenges. I believe this is Asian inspired. It talks about how it is like Princess Mononoke kind of inspired in that sort of theme and it's kind of inspired by it so I'm guessing that's going to be Asian inspired. And then also they are traveling to an island so I'm guessing this could work for a sea prompt because you have to get to that island by crossing the sea somehow. And then also I could probably just count this for the land prompt as well because this is a travel based story. So they're going to be doing a lot of traveling in this one. So that's the first book that I'm going to be reading this month. Now for the next book, I don't actually know if there is any animal companions or magical creatures in this one. I guess you could maybe count if you're counting fairies as magical creatures. But this is one that I really want to prioritize in the month of March anyway. So either way, I'm going to read it. I just hope that it does count for the specific readathon. That is going to be A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth. This is definitely one of my favorite covers that has come out this year and that probably will come out. I just, I'm absolutely in love with it. I was really excited about this book, so I went ahead and pre-ordered this. A Dark and Hollow Star is a, I believe, Canadian-based urban fantasy story. It sounds really exciting. It follows four different points of view. They are all in the fairy world and this kind of lives concurrently to the human world. This honestly kind of gives me House of Earth and Blood vibes. I believe this is YA though and not adult, but this is about a series of really brutal ritualistic murders that happen that threaten to expose the fey world to the human world. So four different teens have to kind of band together and try and solve these murders, stop them from happening. So I'm looking forward to that. Now again, I am really hoping that this does have some sort of like animal companion or magical creature element to it because if it does, this will knock out a bunch of different prompts. So every single character in this book, at least every single one of the four main points of view is queer. So it would count for the LGBTQIA plus square. This would count for the YA square. This also would account for the mental health square. I'm going to guess based on the cover's really cool wings that this character has that we could maybe use it for Sky um, because hopefully there'd be some flying in there. That would be really cool. And then also it does take part in this fey realm that is being hidden from the human realm. So that would count for the beyond square. So this would potentially tick off a lot of squares. So I am very much looking forward to reading this one. Some other books that I'd like to read for this readathon, Hall of Smoke by H.M. Long. I believe this is kind of like a Norse inspired fantasy. Again, another one that I don't know has animal companions or magical creatures, but just based on the cover, I feel like this is a fantasy book that does have some of those elements to it. Um, this is another 20 
2021 release that I'm really looking forward to. This is about a warrior priestess who is kind of banished from her order after she disobeys her goddess's commands and then I believe this is another one where there's a series of murders, something along that sort. I guess I'm in that kind of mood this month but our main character has to kind of go on some sort of revenge quest so I am looking forward to this one. I haven't heard too much about it. I did just get my library hold for it on Libby so I'm looking forward to reading this one and I do need to read this one because um, if I don't get it done in time there is a very long wait now at my library for it so I probably won't get to it this year honestly if I don't read it this month so <laughs> here's hoping that I can squeeze that in and then another book I'd like to read for this readathon is Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. I don't know too much about this one but I have heard nothing but wonderful things from people who I have seen that I have similar reading taste to. I've seen a lot of great reviews for this one. This is the start of a trilogy and I believe it has something to do with like prophecies and end of the world type of scenarios. It is indigenous indigenous inspired folklore so that would work for this challenge and then also I think there's some sort of pirate or sea travel aspect to it. Again I'm going into this one very very blind just because I've heard nothing but wonderful things about it and I have heard nothing but wonderful things pretty much in general about Rebecca Roanhorse as a writer so I really want to try and pick this book up in the month of March as well. And then the last book that I am going to talk about today is just a book that I am really prioritizing reading in March. It doesn't really have anything to do for any sort of readathon, but I have been reading this series over the course of this year. It's one of my new favorite series. I am reading one installation every single month until I run out, and that's going to be next month. But that is going to be The Song Rising by Samantha Shannon. This is the third book in the Bone Season series, which is kind of an urban fantasy slash sci-fi series about a world where being a clairvoyant is illegal. I have been devouring this series. It's one of my new favorite series, and I'm really looking forward to, I don't know, how much I can say about this book just in this TBR, just, you know, bare bones synopsis. It is the third book in a series, so a lot of it would be spoiling the first two books, but I will say the first book did a great job of introducing the world. The second book, like, really expanded on that and filled in a lot of really cool aspects of how this world operates, how different characters operate within the confines of the world, and then I think it's just going to get even bigger and even grander in this book, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I'm very, very excited to get to the next installation. I have wanted to pick this book up pretty much since I finished the second one in early February, so I am excited to finally continue the story this month, and that is going to be it for this TBR. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely leave a comment down below. Definitely let me know if you are participating in the ACMC readathon and if you are definitely let me know your TBRs because I am a very much a mood reader and I am very open to suggestions on how to fill these prompts and work smarter not harder in maybe doubling tripling up challenges to get them all done. So that's gonna be it for me. Make sure you subscribe, stay safe, stay spooky, and I'll see y'all on the other side. Bye!